I'm Leslie Langnaw, Managing Editor at Design World Magazine, and today we are here in Akron at Shinitsu Silicones of America, Inc. at their new more than 7,000 square foot facility. And I'm here with process engineer Craig Lustig showing off the Arberg silicon injection molding machine. So tell me a little bit more about why you have this machine here at this facility. Morning, Leslie. Uh, this design of this mold we did is to help application engineers when they're looking for an application for a silicone to plastic substrate bonding app, uh, test fixture. So we designed this for an ISO and ASTM standard to be able to see what we can bond to for a 90 degree peel test to a rigid substrate. With this application here, we have uh, a numerous amount of possibilities with different types of plastic substrates for your polycarbonates, your PBTs, nylons. Uh, with our library growing with that application, we're able to bond to these different substrates to help these engineers out for upcoming projects in the healthcare, baby care, and even automotive industries. Can you give me some examples of some products that an engineer might be looking for to test these substrates on? Uh, examples might be uh, like a respirator, a CPAP mask. Uh, also, uh, new into the industry, instead of uh, for baby care, instead of having a plastic, for the plastic bottle cup, having the nipple separate from that, overmolding that in the same machine, doing a two-shot application. Now, you said this was a test facility, so an engineer can have some ideas of what they want to use and then have you guys test it out to see how well it can bond? Yes, what we can do is we can look at the applications, what we already have done, looking in our library, or if it's a new application, all we need is the substrate, and then we can pick from our library list of different type of self-adhesive materials. Um, with our 2090 uh, being a bonding to polycarbonate, now we have a newer material that's out there, a self-adhesive material that bonds to nylon 6 and nylon 6-6. Six six. And the benefit of that is that it eliminates a couple of steps that might normally have to be done? Yes, it will eliminate secondary work where in a two-shot application, if the molder goes to that, they can actually mold both the plastic and the silicone in the same machine. All right, can you tell me a little bit about the capabilities of this machine? Capabilities of this machine, we do not just R&D runs, but we can also do customer trials. Say we're having a customer that has some processing issues. If their mold will fit in the press and we have the large enough shot size off of our screw and barrel, we can bring their uh, mold in here and run an apples to apples comparison to figure out what defects they're having and what we can do to fix those issues. And I see you have a few examples here yes. of some of your testing. You want to go over those a little bit? Uh, some of these, this is our, uh, these are nylon plaques that we are over molding onto. And again, being an R&D test fixture, we're seeing some issues where we want to see what we can bond to in the industry. Um, unfortunately, as being an R&D facility, we do have some issues where we're seeing some that are not bonding. But what we're looking for is this would be an adhesive failure. Right. What we're looking for is a cohesive failure, which could either be a silicone breaking or the substrate breaking uh -huh. on our test fixture that we test these on. Okay. What we're looking for when we run these is a very good mm -hmm. bond to the substrate. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Craig. Now, how can an engineer get in touch for more information? Uh, for more information, you can go to our website, www.shinitsusilicones.com. Uh, we have uh, information on that website, inside sales to contact, and then that can turn into a project that we will be doing here in our technical center. Great, thank you very much for working with us. And for more videos uh, from Design World, go to designworldonline.com slash videos. Thank you for working with me today, Craig. Thank you. This is Leslie signing off.